does. If it's, a, if it's a sudden restoration for relationship, you're going to get married. You're going to go home today and take where all your clothes are in a closet and clean it out until it's only half the closet. Oh, you aren't hearing what I'm saying. Because if not, all you're doing is hoping and wishing because it's not prepared. You have no room for his clothes when he says yes. And you aren't going to need that closet because you're going to have a much bigger one because his house is going to be bigger than yours. But if you believe that God has given you a business, where's your incorporation? Where's the bank account? Well, Pastor Paula, I only have a hundred rand. Open it. I only have a thousand rand. Open it. Open it as if it's getting ready to receive millions of dollars because God's got a suddenly for you. You see, he begins to prophesy. And when he prophesies, what he's saying to Timothy is you enforce the prophecy. Enforcing the prophecy has to do with the spiritual and has to do with the natural. If God says, I'm going to take your voice around the world, guess what I did? I used to eat terrible. I ate pizza. I ate, I ate cheap food because I was poor. See, some of y'all look at me. I started enforcing the prophecy. I said, I need a body that can carry God's word and message and the fire and the power of God. So I started working out. I started eating healthy. I started eating like rich folk. Come on, help me. I started eating good food. I didn't look at my budget. I just started doing it. Enforce the prophecy. I told you. When Mr. Trump called me 24 years ago and told me, said, you've got the it factor. I said, oh, sir, we call that anointing. And the first place I went with him was Jean George. I couldn't even say it. I'd say, Jean George, Jean George. Well, as soon as that lunch was over, I picked up the phone and called my office. I told him, I said, Stacy. She said, yeah, mama. I said, get me etiquette classes. She goes, what? I said, get me etiquette classes and get me a grammar coach. I said, I need grammar. I don't say things properly. I still say Mississippi. Y'all ain't going down there. I said, I need a grammar coach and I need an etiquette. See, y'all are laughing at me because I wasn't living in anything big. We didn't have the second largest church in the world. It, it wasn't, you aren't here or in the nation. You aren't here when I'm saying, but I was enforcing the prophecy. I didn't even know where it would take me. I didn't know I would be doing state dinners with protocol in the first lady's office for evangelicals and people of faith from all over the world. I didn't know that I'd be sitting with prime ministers and kings and state representatives, and I'd have to know what nine pieces of, a, of, a, of a appetite and where the the forks and where the spoons and where the glasses and what got into what.